All right, I've got a new box to show you guys, and this is really exciting. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the Daiso XO. And if you're looking for the highest quality DI line isolator for your guitar or bass rig, and you're running a digital amp modeler and you want to convert something into XLR, and it'll give you the highest quality sound and output for your rig on the stage or in the studio, look no further. This guy is it, and it'll change the game. Well, hey everyone, it's Gemma McTabay here. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video and into my channel. I really, really appreciate it. If you don't know anything about me, I'm a session touring musician, a music producer, and a music director here from Sydney, Australia. And I'm also a guy who loves gear. And in regards to gear, let's talk about the Daiso XO from Pinstripe Pedals. What is it and how can it benefit your rig? And I'll show you how it benefits my rig. So over the years, we've now seen that there has been no doubt a huge rise of digital amp simulators on pedal boards all over the world. And even people using all-in-one solutions like the Helix, the Fractal, the Kemper. But in terms of small guitar amp simulators, such as the Universal Audio Ruby, Dream, Woodrow, and the Line 6 HX Stomp, Iridium, Walrus Audio ACS1, we see that these are units where they don't have any uh, external XLR jacks and if you were to use it live or in the studio and you wanted to convert it to an XLR signal to go into the front of house or into your in-ears you would either have to get a, uh, a quarter inch cable and it'll convert to like an XLR or you'll use a DI box uh, to, to do that but one of the problems that will happen is if there is any ground noise that gets introduced there's no way to lift the ground and also a lot of these DI boxes also suck not only the output of your digital amp simulator, but they also take out the overall tone of it by, it, it, it'll like take out the high end or the low end. So the challenge is how can I get a high quality XLR signal out of my digital uh, DSP modeler rig that doesn't have an XLR, but how can I get it to sound right and also have the right amount of output that comes from the unit itself. So what Charlie and the team over at Pinstripe Pedals have done over the years is they've created a dual line isolator called the Daiso Plus. And what's so special about it is it runs the highest quality Jensen transformers. And not only do these transformers give you the desired output that you need from your modeler, it like it, it doesn't in it doesn't boost your output. What it does is it gives you the most accurate amount of gain that comes from your modeler to go out into the system. But because of the Jensen transformers and because it's passive, one it doesn't introduce any ground noise, so there's no distortion, and also it features things like a ground lift. Now, as amazing as the Daiso Plus is, there's a lot of guitar players out there who aren't using uh, digital amp modelers as their main rig. So people use their amp simulators like the HX Stomp and the Ruby as their backup rigs and they, maybe they don't want to carry a, a, a box like the Daiso Plus into their board because it, it might be a little too big for them or the, the features that are in the Daiso Plus are a bit too much for what they need. So what the Daiso XO does is it features the same high quality Jensen Transformer as the Daiso Plus and it also features the exact wonderful ground lift circuit that is in the Daiso Plus. Now the Daiso XO is way smaller than the Daiso Plus and it's smaller than most DI boxes and what it features is just quarter inch to XLR. And for a lot of people running a digital amp simulator, either if it's their small pedal board, I know for me I have a small pedal board with a HX Stomp, having something like this next to my pedal board just so I can run an XLR is pretty much all I need and all that I would want really. And for other people, maybe if they're using an amp simulator as a backup rig, this is probably the best solution for them too, as it is so small and so tiny, but it gives you the highest quality sound and the highest quality output that you, you would need for your digital guitar amp rig. I want to show you guys how this benefits my rig, and I truly believe that this can benefit your rig, whether you're running a small pedal board with an amp simulator, or if you're just using an amp simulator as a backup rig, but you want a high quality DI line isolator. All right, so this is the rig that I am gonna be using today. These were the DIs I was using yesterday. I was just waiting for this guy to arrive. So now I am going to throw in the Daiso XO into this small rig and it's gonna be awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little sound demonstration of how 
the Daiso XO can impact your overall tone for your modeler in such a great way beyond than just being output. Uh, these Jensen transformers and whatever circuitry uh, Pinstripe Pedals has done really just makes your tone uh, on your modeler sound the way that it should when you're running from quarter inch to XLR uh, and running through a front of house system. And I'll compare it with uh, this little Leem Direct Box, another passive DI, and I'll even compare it uh, just for fun with the Daiso Plus. Just how you can hear that the components and the overall output and tonal quality is the same going with Daiso Plus and Daiso XO, just a smaller package. So here's just my bass tone with the Daiso XO. <laughs> And if you're going to comment and say, like, all DI boxes do the same thing, they sound the same, no, they don't. And I'll show you, like, right now. I'm going to change to the lean box right now. Same volume, same everything. No changes post-production. I'm going to do everything in real time, like, right now. <laughs> all right, here we go, lean box. <laughs> Same everything on the volume control. Now, I'm going to have to bring the volume up on my HX arm to compensate, but even if I bring the volume up, output is not the thing that we're just talk talking about. Listen to the high end and the bass response. L listen to how this DI box, it, it just takes it away. The high end is, is dulled down. And the bass response isn't there. Back to the Dyson XO. Hear that? The high end clarity is back. The low end response while being clear and defined is back. Uh, it sounds the way that your modeler should when you're running uh, direct into like an audio interface or like in your headphones. <laughs> Hear that? The high end spark. It's all there. And let me compare it with the Daiso Plus, the regular one just so you can hear how pretty much it's the same product, just in a smaller format. Yep, so yeah, Daiso XO folks, if you are looking for a small passive DI solution for your digital amp modeler and you want the best clarity, tone, and output for it, and you don't want to have a DI box as big as the Daiso Plus, uh, the Daiso XO is for you. So the Daiso XO, what an incredible product, huh? There's so many imitators out there right now, like, you know, the Walrus Audio Canvas and the radial stuff, and they claim to do the exact same thing as this does, which, in a sense it does, but the quality of components and parts that the Daiso Plus and the Daiso XO have is completely unmatched, and that goes with any other pinstripe pedal product. The use of Jensen transformers is the highest quality transformer for a DI line isolator. It doesn't introduce any unwanted noise and distortion, and it keeps your signal pure and clean. That completely changes the game. And if you want to buy a Daiso XO, they are available now on pinstripepedals.com. And if you want to see all the other Pinstripe Pedals products, go head out to their website and see what else they've got. They make the most high quality tools 
uh, for guitar players that you never knew you needed, but you really need. <laughs> and trust me, it, it's amazing. Their customer service is amazing. Charlie is one of the most reputable people I've ever met in my life. And I'm thankful for him and his support and his support for other artists all over the world. And always innovating and creating things that will help benefit musicians both on stage and in the studio. And if you want to check out more of my music stuff and if you want to see everything else that I do, head out to my website at www.jomamactivatemusic.com and if you want to check out the Line 6 Helix and HX Stomp presets that I make, head out to multitracks.com. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and you guys have yourselves an amazing day.